Yo, what's good people? It's Ocean here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the video. I hope it's good wherever you're watching from. As I was walking to the studio today, I thought to myself, today I want to make a beat using the Korg Mini Log, which is the first synth that I ever brought. It's probably like one of the most recommended first synths to get as a producer, like when you're going in that rabbit hole of the synth world and stuff. I got this like a year or two ago, but I haven't really used it in ages and I'm planning on selling it. So today I guess it's going to be like the one last ride making a beat with it. Yeah, let's get into the video. Honestly, don't think I've used this synth in like nine months to a year. It's been a very, very long time since I've actually switched this one on. But it was the first one that set me off on the synth journey. It sent me down the rabbit hole. I might have said this before, but when I went on a trip to LA, there was a producer called Alo, and he brought this out. He brought out the synth straight out of his backpack, connected it all up, and I'd never seen a synth before. I didn't even know like what it was. I was just used to pulling up Omnisphere and making beats that way. They pulled it out. He's really good on the keys. So he starts playing chords, and I'm like, whoa, this is sounding incredible. And that influenced me to just do more research into synths, and that's when I really like got into it. I got this one, started getting the hang of it, and then fell down that rabbit hole. Next thing you know, a year later, built up a collection. this being like one of my favorite sounds on here. I might even pair this with a guitar pedal just to see like what kind of effect I can get. flatten and merge that and then just to quantize it let's turn on the flex switch that to polyphonic I might try and reverse some parts, so chop that note, repeat it, and then reverse it. Maybe like all the last notes of the bar, I'll reverse. Just panning them to different sides, so give it more space in the melody. Just trying to find a bass sound just to go underneath it to fill out the highs. Oh, I like this sound though. Now 
Uh, maybe he's doing too much. Come back to that sound. I kind of like that one too. Yeah, that could work as a bass. I mean, it's not too low. Oh. Yeah, that's hard. Let's add in that. I think that's it for the melody. I kind of like it like that. I'm going to bounce it out, bring it back in, maybe add a few more effects to it and then add some drums on top of this now. I might just change the pitch up as well, just to hear like what it could be in another, in another pitch. Ooh. That sounds serious there. Yeah, that's hard. Control every fear, move it down an octave, one more. sound repeating through the whole time. Let's just pan it to the, to the right a little bit. It's gonna touch the reverb. Beat is more or less finished. I don't even wanna add a kick, but I think I'm just gonna add in this last, this perk, but I'm gonna use it more like an open hat right at the beginning. And then maybe just add a touch of echo. Right, just finished up this beat. I arranged it just a tiny bit, just to hear like how it would sound as like a full beat. To me, I could hear future all over this, but let me play it for you. Hard. It's those bells on top that sound. I'm liking that, that's sounding hard. I'm not gonna lie, yeah, I really, really like this synth because it's really easy to use. It's, it's, it's not like, I mean, if you look compared to this one, look how much knobs this has. This can be like overwhelming and intimidating, but this one is just very nice and simple, not too much going on here. I kind of want to hold on to it now, but I'm not going to lie to myself. Like there's no point keeping this because I'm probably not going to use it that often. But yeah, I am doing a giveaway. I'm actually going to be doing a giveaway for the Korg Mini Log. Not this one, because this one is the older version. They've dropped a new one or a newer version called the Korg Mini Log XD. And I think it's just a better updated version. Hopefully it inspires someone else to, yeah, just try out Sims and start their journey with it too. So the way how to enter this giveaway, first of all, you gotta be following me on Instagram at prod by ocean, because that's where I'm gonna do the giveaway announcement on my story. I'm gonna make that announcement on, today's the, 
Today's the 6th. I'm gonna make the announcement on my story on Instagram on the 17th, Sunday the 17th of October. So if you're not following me there, then you never know if you won. Also, make sure you hit the subscribe button, join the family right now. And then three, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Just, yeah, leave any comment below. And I'm gonna be picking a random winner next week and I'm gonna announce it on my story. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button because it really, really helps as I always say. That is about it for this one. Good luck on the giveaway. And yeah, I'll see you in the future.